Hi, it's Matt here from Go Green Autos. So this is our Hyundai Ionic Electric. It's got the 28 kilowatt hour battery pack. It's a 2017 and this car's now done 89,000 miles. So in this video, I'm gonna plug in the diagnostic scanner and have a look at the battery pack. So let's just jump in and you can see there the mileage, 88,940 miles. Let's just start it up. Um, so service required, yeah, I know that, that's another job I've got to do. Um, so yes, uh, I'll plug in the scanner and have a look. Um, but yeah, in terms of day-to-day um, -day use, we don't see any loss in range in this whatsoever. Uh, we're seeing an estimated range of 123 miles there. Of course, that's based on recent driving and we're in the winter now. And uh, you can see there it's five degrees C outside. Um, but yeah, yesterday it was a particularly cold day. Um, so anyway, I've got my scanner here. Let's just get the dongle. I just open the door and get a bit of light. The diagnostic port on these cars is behind that panel. And which way round does it go? That way round. Plug that in. Shut the door there. And let's have a bit of warmth. And uh, fire this thing up. So what we've got to do is go into the BMS. and we then look at the live data so the bms is the battery management system it's basically the ecu in the battery pack and that's what's uh, controlling the battery pack and then the live data is all the information that is going to be coming uh, from the battery so first of all we've got state of charge 94 percent so the vehicle uh, was charged overnight to 100%. I have sat here and just filmed another video, so uh, it has lost a little bit. Um, but you find because a battery pack has got a buffer, top and bottom, when the car is at 100%, uh, the battery itself won't be uh, because there's this buffer at the top. Something without doing the math, something like 5% at the top, 5% at the bottom, which you can't access. So even though the car is probably about 98% at the moment, actually. Um, but I'm, but I'm, can we see on here? I can't remember. It's been so long since I've driven this car because my partner drives this car. Um, can we see battery state of health? I'm just trying to remember whether it's in one of the menus. I've got a feeling it's not on this. But anyway, it doesn't really matter. So, yeah, battery state of charge is at 94%. And then we have some warning switches, battery DC current, 6 amp, uh, 0.6 amp, should I say, battery DC voltage, 394.5 uh, volt, so that's your overall voltage from the pack. The maximum temperature is at 7 degrees, minimum temperature is at 6 degrees, that's inside the pack. Um, so yeah, the pack actually, it's been cold overnight, but because it's been on charge, uh, the pack is a little bit warmer than the ambient temperature outside. And then we've got the temperatures of all the different modules. So they're all within one degree of each other. So that's all good. And of course there's no decimal points here. So, you know, that could be 6.9 and that could be 7.0. So they're obviously much closer than the full one degree that this is showing. Battery inlet temperature seven degrees don't quite know what that is um is that airflow in i'm not sure minimum cell voltage four volt maximum cell voltage number i thought that was a voltage for a minute um so that's i guess flashing through which cell currently has the maximum voltage and that's flicking between various numbers so minimum cell voltage 4.1 so that's what you want to look at is whether the minimum cell and maximum cells are, are quite close in range 
and we are we're we're, we're both the same so uh that indicates nice he healthy balanced cells minimum cell voltage number so yeah so at the moment cell number one has the lowest voltage and cell number 11 3 all of them <laughs> have the highest voltage and that's because there's no huge difference between those two voltages so yes that all looks good fan speed status naught so that just says the fan is currently not spinning fan frequency so it obviously records the frequency that that fan is spinning when it is spinning auxiliary battery voltage so that's your 12 volt battery up front that's currently 14.5 volts and that's because the vehicle is on so the dc to dc converter is switched on and charging the battery if the vehicle was turned off that will drop down to 12 and a half volts um, then we've got the total charge current total discharge current so i assume this is the total amount of amp hours that have come out of the pack and the total amount that's gone into the pack in its lifetime total charge power uh total discharge power in kilowatt hours um so yeah what's that 23,000 kilowatt hours uh so yes you could divide that by the mileage i guess and then yeah get your overall consumption accumulative operating time in seconds god there's uh, whatever that number is millions of seconds there motor control unit mcu ready yes this is just telling you the current status of everything relays a controller vcu ready inverter capacity voltage 395 volt drive motor speed that's obviously your um, motor up, up front but we're sat here not moving so that's at 0 rpm isolation resistance and then we're looking at our battery cell voltages so again you want to make sure they're all balanced and all about the same which they are they're all 4.1 volt all of them are 4.1 volt so it all looks nice and healthy so how many cells have we got 60 70 80 90 96 cells all at 4.1 and then we're back on to some temperatures and they're all at six or seven degrees c available charge power 42 kilowatt available discharge power 98 kilowatt battery cell voltage deviation 0 volts quick charging nominal uh, sorry normal status okay um airbag hardwire duty i don't know what that one is flashing between 75 and 80 percent um i don't know why that would be in the battery pack or what that is if you do know let me know in the comments below i'd be quite interested to know what that actually means um heat one and heat two temperatures don't know what they are battery state of health this is the one that everyone wants to know about it's still at 100 percent state of health i've done videos on this before and a lot of people get very upset when i state that you know i'm just t stating what the car is reporting whether that's right or wrong you can um, argue that but uh, basically you know the battery on these has a usable capacity in a total capacity if that buffer is being used up over age to keep the usable capacity the same then yes it probably is but um, in this case we're looking at a five-year-old car and it's done 89,000 miles and the car thinks whether it's true or not but anyway the car thinks it's still got a hundred percent usable capacity and uh, the range of the vehicle reflects that we're just not seeing any loss in range whatsoever display state of charge 99 percent. so that is what is being displayed up on the screen there so the battery the, the dash is saying we're at 99 percent, but right at the beginning the actual battery is at 94 percent. so that's showing us that buffer there that it's keeping at the back of the top of the pack that the driver can't use and then finally we've got the quick charge output voltage 4.1 volt so that is what the bms is reporting that's all the information that the car logs
well this is real time information of course and the other key thing here is this is just a snapshot at this time um, and uh, obviously information uh, well battery storage capacity varies with temperature primarily um, so yes this is just a snapshot at this time because we're looking at a real data feed from the pack so yes we now have done 89,000 miles and from looking at that that battery even though i'm no expert on this at all uh, but yes all indications are um, that battery looks nice and healthy still showing at 100 percent state of health and all the voltages are all nice and equal and uh, it just goes to show that you know the the um, general view the idea that's been repeated so many times over the last 10 years that batteries need to be changed every five years just is completely out of rubbish we're looking at a five-year-old car here that's done nearly a hundred thousand miles and all indications here are that this battery is very very healthy and has had absolutely minimal degradation thank you for watching the video this channel gets small viewing numbers so to get the video noticed in people's feeds, YouTube favours videos with what they term engagement, and that basically means comments. So please do comment on the video, do ask me questions, tell me what you want to see next. Also hit the little thumbs up button if you found the video useful or you liked it. Do subscribe to the channel by clicking the subscribe button and then press the bell to be notified when new videos get uploaded. Also have a look at the back catalogue of videos. There are literally hundreds and hundreds of videos on the channel already. And also use the search function to find videos that you might find interesting. Thank you very much.